All right. Let's bring the Satanists out. We'll show you the statue they want. The debate Spirit. begins right now. We in the spirits. Your thoughts, America. Toll free, 1 888 2 We in the midst of a spiritual war. One percent is versus America's poor. Camera Holder is here from the Fox News Channel as well. And uh, we welcome your thoughts. Man, we're already getting some great calls. Brian is your name? Yes. And you're Lucian? Correct. How are you guys? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So what, what are your thoughts coming in here? I'm curious. I mean, first and foremost, man, I've been listening to you since I was 14 years old. It's a dream come true to even be Cool. Here, man, well, thank so. you. Thank you. It was a uh, little, I didn't know how to take coming here because I know your views on religion. But yeah, more important, I, I know yeah. your views on free speech. Yeah, that's right. That's so. right. And uh, you know what? Here's the thing. I, I feel that my views stand up, and I, I don't fear you guys coming in here. I'm sure you, you don't fear coming in here either. Um, and I appreciate your right to say it. Uh, whatever you want. I love a society where you guys can talk, and I love a society where I can disagree with you. You know I'm going to disagree with you, but, but uh, I'm, I'm happy you're here. It's kind of like uh, Voltaire once said, uh, I may hate and despise everything you have to say, but I'll fight <laughs> to the death to defend your right to say it. Amen, brother. Amen. And that's the, uh, and I've certainly been through that in my life where, uh, look, I, uh, the, the, the hardest core uh, kook that came against me was a church going guy. And I sat down with him and I said, I believe in this and this and this. And so do you. And there's no one else on TV or radio saying what you believe. Fred Nobody Phelps. else. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I, I, I got to destroy you. Fred Phelps? <laughs> no, no. But that, I mean, I've interviewed, I've interviewed that moron. You know, look, you, you said religion. Um, religion. What is it? Thirteen thousand little Muslim kids are being taught to be suicide bombers. It's been revealed. I don't. I didn't have that at Circle K Christian Camp. I don't have that on Sunday at Willow Creek. Yeah. So religion, religion flies planes into buildings. Religions uh, have people, uh, you know, put on their sweats and wait for the comet to commit suicide. Remove a woman's clitoris to reduce her sexual pleasure. She won't cheat on her. Well, husband. I mean, that's that's what the religion of peace is doing in in some African countries. They sure. they are shaving off the outer part of the vagina so that there's. I mean, it's so all kinds of things are done. In the name of religion. The fact is, I hate religion. I hate religion. Uh, I have no interest in religion. Relig you can call religion anything. Um, you know, I like like Guyana, the sure. Guyana tragedy. So so religion gets uh, grouped in. But uh, all right. So so um, we'll show the statue. Let's show the statue here. Uh, and and what what is the what t what are we looking at? I'll let you take that one, brother. Yeah, that. Uh one thing we have children yeah. for another thing we have what's called the baphomet <laughs> and that w that image was elaborated yeah. in the 19th century by an occult historian named eliphas levi uh -huh. but the word baphomet comes much further back from the templars who were accused of heresy accused of worshiping the devil and it was said that they worshiped an idol called baphomet which almost certainly came from mahomet prophet muhammad from islam so it's kind of this imaginary structure when uh during the crusades when islam was satanized and so we have it there now it's recognized as a universally kind of satanic symbol well bath goes uh bath goes i mean bath goes way back what like moses they were uh there was bathus right people that were anyway look, oh, yeah but let, this is different let, let's let's keep it uh, 2014 yeah, yeah. And and so look i i've had uh i've had guys that that were on the program i had a very good friend uh, that was a Satanist, and uh, had uh, and I, I know all the names of these demons and stuff, and I don't like to say them, but had a uh, had the ability to turn his uh, mirror into liquid, and uh, would see things appear to him in the in the mirror. So he claimed. Was there LSD involved? That uh, no no drugs that uh, that looked like what you just showed had a, had a would kind of appear from the back. No guy didn't do drugs, and uh, a, a goat headed figure a type thing would talk with him. <laughs> um, Sounds very David Berkowitz. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Whose neighbor's dog gave him orders to kill, right? Who was also a Catholic. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, look, we've got Catholic priests raping children, man. Like oh, I said, day, I, 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 I hate religion. I hate religion. Uh, every day. Re- religion flies, you know, planes into the buildings. Uh, I'm not talking about religion. Let's let's uh, talk about God and, and good and good versus evil. And um, Where do you want to put this statue? Uh, right, the uh, Oklahoma Capitol, right next to the statue, the statue of the Ten Commandments is already erected okay. there. Let's, let's, you were, you've been all over TV. Let's watch a little bit. Designs for a seven-foot-tall goat. Lucian and demon. Lucian and Brian here. Oklahoma State Capitol. The seven-foot-tall goat-headed demon sitting on a throne with two children next to it. The group Satanic Temple. Brian Warner, who claims to be a satanic high priest living in Milwaukee, says the statue would be built next to an existing monument of the Ten Commandments. The statue will be a symbol of Satan as a goat. It's designed for children to sit on it, take pictures with it. The oh group my wants God. it to go Come right on. here outside the state capitol, right next to the Ten Commandments. It, it absolutely is of historic value. Not only would a satanic monument send a clear and distinct message that America received respects plurality, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, but it would also stand as a historical marker commemorate, commemorating scapegoats and marginalized and recognized minorities. All right, America. Look, it goes on and on, and I want to hear from you. One eight 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 two man count. We have uh, the the guys behind this in our studio. I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to watch videos. And uh, Jason loves it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I look th- this year in right here. For me, I feel like uh, I, I believe in the rights of the individual. And that's why you were attracted to the show. And it was individuals that made this country great. And this, this uh, group think, Obamacare, all this stuff, this group thing, this cattle idea where we are given numbers. And it's, uh, we're going to be uh, reduced to this more and more. The shouting out by the TSA, take your belt off, take your shoes off, get on the boxcar and shut up. This idea of not questioning and, and being dehumanized is repulsive to me. I'm a follower of, uh, uh, of an atheist, uh, one of, and I'm a Christian guy, but one of, the follow, one of the people I follow, one of my heroes, Martin Luther King's one of my heroes, would have been uh, having a birthday this week. Uh, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., they like to remove that. But Ayn Rand believed in the rights of the individual. So I decided to petition the city hall that, uh, that uh, you know, Rahm Emanuel and the group that... Uh, we, we should celebrate the individual, and we would have a 15-foot papier-mâché uh, shellacked version of me. And you know what? The courts actually said, this will work. And I had a fan of the show call me from Rom's office. Man, Cal, it's great. Rom can't, they can't wait to get rid of the Christmas village. They want the Christmas tree out of here, as you know, down the street. They put up a giant A for atheist. I wanted to mock the giant A for atheist, but um, unintended consequences. Yes, I could get my statue or a statue of Ayn Rand up. But Christmas would be destroyed. The Christmas village finally pushed out, which the city wants, and the atheist A gone. Uh, then I thought, well, I want to drive my, uh, my, my, my truck into the atheist A. I don't care. I'll, I'll pay to rebuild it. It'll be fun. I want to drive into it. No, no, no. It'll be a hate crime. And I would uh, have mandatory, uh, hey, Tamara, come on over. Tamara Holder's here from the Fox News Channel. Well, a hate crime and mandatory jail time and all this. And, and so, so unintended qu- consequences. Guys, this, this frightening-looking creature with children near it. Are, are you parents? No. You don't have kids. I mean, maybe when you have children, you'll, you'll, your mind will change on this. But do you, I mean, are you worried about unintended consequences? Are you worried about this frightening children? Are you... No, absolutely not. Why would it frighten children more than being scared to death every night when you go to bed about going to hell and not being a sinner? Yeah, yeah I, I think mean, it, I think when you contextualize it for kids that this is ultimately leads to evil, that this ultimately causes bad deeds, that this symbolizes cannibalism or human sacrifice or whatever else, then there's a danger to that. But well, wait a minute. If you could contextualize it, symbol- it could differently. Could it symbolize cannibalism and human sacrifice? Because if it does, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you had me at cannibalism. Uh, Tamara Holder. Uh, I was walking down State Street in the freezing yeah. cold. Did so. you have a rough night? No. Did I, you do the walk of shame into here? No, no. I, I mean, look like, at you. I saw a chip in the in the green room, and yeah. so I flipped my hair around. Hey, bring so. it out. Chip, bring so Chip it looks out. A Where little... is he? Chip's enough. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I'm i sorry. I was, I literally was walking down the street, and I forgot how cold it is in this town. Oh, it's awful. Rock, rock and roll, by the way, uh, you know, created by Satan. So come on in, Chip. I did the walk of shame with Chip. Elisa, hello. It's Man Cow. You're live. Hello. I sound good. Hello. It's Man Cow. You're live. 
<laughs> yeah, you know why we keep telling you to turn it down? Hey, Let's go. He Hello, it's Man Cal. You're on. I, I hear you. I hear you. Hello? Yeah, you hear me. You hear me. Hello? I can hear you. Okay, okay great. All right, stupid. Next caller. Good to know you can hear me. God. Okay, hello. You're live. It's Man Cow. Jonathan. Yes. Yes, go ahead. I want to talk about that uh that new uh Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that statue. Okay, go ahead. Um like what's the name about like what's the name of it and where is it from and where is it who, who, what, where, when, why? Uh, the statue's how big? Where you want to put it up at? Seven feet next to the Ten Commandments in uh, Oklahoma City, at the Oklahoma City State Capitol. Are you uh, are you both worshippers of Satan? Satanists. No, well, that's, yeah, we're Satanists. That, that needs to be distinguished <laughs> from devil worship. No, I find that hilarious. Uh, well, Satanists. Well, we're Satanists. What is the we're difference? Yes. No, well, Satan well, is. What's the difference between well, yeah. a I, I don't know the, I don't know the difference. difference. That's like, that's like saying, are, that's like saying, are you Jewish? And you say, well, no, I'm Christian. I believe in the Old Testament. I mean, it's kind of the same. You, you know what? Um, who, who, who is it? The liar. John Lovitz always said, Jewish people won't commit. They're Jewish. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm a Jew, I'm a Jewish. A little, you know. All right. So you're, you're, you're devilish. You're not. Well, no. I mean, to me, I'm an atheist. I'm an atheistic Satanist. This is a metaphorical construct to me. It embodies the values you were talking about, personal sovereignty, individual will, revolt of the angels kind of metaphor. Do you, do you believe that there's a Satan? No, I don't believe in a personal Satan. Do you no. believe, you just say you don't believe in a God either? No. 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 See, I have come to believe that Lewis Black and and Dawkins and all and, and Bill Maher and all these heroes of the atheists. George Carlin. Uh, are, uh, Carlin was a buddy of mine are, um, you know, are believers, and they want to destroy it. An agnostic doesn't know. An atheist believes and wants to destroy. If you don't believe it, why would you want to put a big devil statue up? Because of that metaphorical construct. I believe religion is important, but it can be separated from the supernatural. You need a narrative construct. You need a narrative arc to contextualize your life, your work, your goals, and that kind of thing. And, you know, Atheist Jews do that. I, I feel there's atheist Christians who feel they have to give lip service to the ideas they don't necessarily think are true. Well, not to mention it also plays to the uh, multiculturalistic society in which we live in and the plurality of America, if you will. What does that mean? It's very simple. We're not an Ameri We're not a Christian nation. We never have been. Our, for our forefathers well, were true. devout non-Christians. They were devout. Tom, you go read the works of Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin I have. Franklin, that have, been, I have directly spoke against Christianity and organized religion in any form. Well, well, now, now wait a minute, brother. I, I mean, go and look sure. at any of the monuments in Washington, D.C. It's loaded with Christian stuff. Sure. Uh, all of George uh, Washington's writings talk of Christ. Sure. Um, so that's not really true. And, 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 and Jefferson, what Jefferson fought against, which is what we're, what we're entering now, and I think this is common ground for us. Sure. Uh, not for, I mean, I actually have more in common with a Satanist now than I do with <laughs> Tamar Holder. Uh, we, we were trying to get away from a, a church-state government. Mm -hmm. And that's what Thomas, you know, that's why we came here from England. Sure. And well, this, with, is, with this, is what, this is what America's headed to right now. With, with all of our, you know, the healthcare being controlled, every a, a kind of a corporation government that controls exactly. everything we say and do. Oh, my gosh. Well, with that That's in mind, I want to make it clear. We, yeah. would have, we would have never requested the monument if the Ten Commandments weren't already there. Do you believe Oklahoma that the government's going to take door. over? Do you, do you think, think that the, do you no, think, I, be, like, I believe they already took over a long, uh, long time ago. Oh, okay. So, but drones you don't in the sky that and everything that else. It was, uh, that it was President Obama who took do you, over. Do you I, think I, the uh, think Do you think the Ten Commandments are are good? Are good uh, is a good message. Well, I think you have some universal morals in there that people throw in: "Thou shall not kill, thou shall not steal." Right. I don't think. But I don't think we would be dead. doing those things if they weren't etched on the Ten Commandments. But you have yeah. the first four: "Thou shall have no god before me." Thou shall not worship graven idols. Sabbath. And I, I feel those need some counterpoint. And Brian, I, Brian, we're in that Marilyn Man. You, you have Marilyn Manson's real name, don't uh, you? No, mine's W E R N E R. Yeah. And yes, that's actually my birth name, and I grew up in Fort Lauderdale, see where he's from. Everybody so. crazy I've ever met is from Florida. The craziest uh, yeah. ass people from Florida. <laughs> so you are, uh, you're the high priest of the Satanic Temple. Yes. Do you get laid a lot? Lots of chicks. Uh, I, I don't do too bad for myself, man. Yeah. Actually. You know, I got to tell you. Going, going to Willow Creek, they kind of, uh, you know, they discourage me sleeping around. And that's the tough part about being a... I'm still looking for loopholes in my book. I am. I really am. I want some loopholes. So.
We'll be back. One eight 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 two man cow. Uh, look at these phones are uh, busy, but give her a try. The high priest of the Satanic Temple is here. And I know you're thinking, well, he's talking about Tamar Holder. No, it's actually a separate person. Okay, I don't, I don't care who you worship. Beelzebub or Jesus, uh, this is cool. The guy with the back. Shots from Coachella, and I don't know who did it, but brilliant. And thanks to... Uh, I, is, what, where did that come from, the internet? I've heard Kimmel. about this thing. Really incredible. Uh, Kimmel played it. Thank you, Jimmy. All right, he's going to be on. Kimmel, uh, we're going to be doing our show shortly. Jimmy Kimmel... Jimmy Kimmel was offered $23,000 a year to be my sportscaster. Yeah, I remember that. And my boss said no, and I ran into Jimmy. He said, man, Cal, I, 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 I was your biggest fan. I, that was my dream. I was ready to move and work with you. I said, well, thank God you didn't. Thank God my boss, Mike Fowler, hated Jimmy Kimmel. Thank God. Where's Fowler now? Over to ESPN Radio. Oh, he's doing, he's doing good. He's right. doing good. Still <laughs> good. Still I mean, you know, it's a serious question. As you probably know, the legal sale of marijuana for recreational Kimmel. use began in Colorado at the beginning of the year. Already, it's causing a rise in criminal activity. Thieves on Interstate 70 outside of Denver <laughs> have been stealing this 420 mile marker sign. The 420 the mile marker being stolen, stolen. so often. I'm telling you, you combine it when it's legal. Combine a Taco Bell. Forget Taco Bell KFC combos. I hate. I hate combo restaurants or when you team them up with a gas station. But but you, uh, you team up a marijuana dispensary with a Taco Bell, man. I am, huh? Yeah, massive. Let, let, let me get involved yeah. in that. I'm going to do it. I'm what do you think, Tamara, right? Me, me, me and Mikey so Puff Puff. Excited. Me and Mikey Puff Puff. What? You know my state, my, my home state, Colorado, uh, yeah, yeah. Is, is where they where it's now recreational, high, man. recreationally legal. And this is like the best thing. They, well, they you've got to be catering. high to be sh sh shooting your mouth off for a bottle. Seven-layer edible studio. burritos. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. A crunch wrap. You don't. You wouldn't eat that garbage unless oh. you were high. No. Oh, exactly. No, but now they're the like, catering companies are popping up and they're doing yeah. special little things, you know, for parties. She's really. high right now. Listen to her. Um, <laughs> I wish. I want to talk about your cave of wonders coming up here. That's in Colorado. I love nature, and um, you know, I was just in China, and I brought back this uh, thing called a mogwai. Not a good idea. They gave me three rules. No bright light, don't get them wet, and never, you don't feed them after midnight. Anyway, the kids goofed up, fed the thing, and now I got these things all over the house. If you want a mogwai, I got one for you. All right, lots coming up here, including your phone calls. one 888 The Satanists are here. Hide the children. Actually, uh, their statue involves Satan and children. And uh, the girls are here. You saw them walk down the hall there. That was fun in slow motion. Crazy poor sports bar over on North Avenue in Villa Park. Girls, how are you? Good. Have the Satanists hit on you? No. Huh? No. no? What you, what's going on with you fellas? I thought Satanists were all about sex and being carefree. And look at these little beauties. I cannot believe you're not. Hey, I'm the Man Cow. We welcome your phone calls at 1 888 2 Man Cow. The lovelies are here from Crazy Poor. P O U R. Get it? No. Uh, Chip is here. Uh, rock star. Uh, Satan is here, ladies and gentlemen. The Satanists that want to put up a statue involving children. And uh, the voice of the left on Fox News Channel. Uh, way, way prettier than Alan Combs. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the delicious Tamara Holder. It's Tamara. free for all Friday. Hello. What's up, New Year's? Happy, Happy, New Year. Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. You know, when you're a bad girl, you need a spanking. What, is, what do you think of the Satanists? <laughs> I like them, and I I am a freedom of choice person. I think So that you would choose Satan? No, I think no. that they're entitled to their beliefs just as much as you are. You know, it's the same with the um, who are the who are the, the weird church people? Uh, Westboro, Westboro yeah, they, church. They, they mentioned them yesterday. They're they're yeah. terrible. <laughs> they're terrible yeah. people. I but don't they like have... religion. I you don't ever like... see what we did to them? I don't like religion. No, what did you do to them? Uh, held a same sex ceremony over the grave of Fred Phelps's mother. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that makes you happy. Uh, it, it, you know, you know, it, it does make me happy, man. They're a lot smarter wait, than wait the Westboro people. Wait they're minute, bananas. Uh, you know, they have absolutely wackadoodles, and I don't like them, and, and they're hate. And you know, I, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, guys, please read it. I mean, what I what I celebrate is love and understanding, and, and I, I fail every day. I fail every day, honestly. But I aspire to be better. And 
why but why the mother i mean it's 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 oh, very very simple if you can disrespect us there's nothing more disrespectful to me than and then um disrespecting a soldier's funeral there's a soldier yeah. dying in iraq tonight to protect my freedom of speech and i will exercise yeah. it and to go to a funeral where a mother is grieving her child coming home from iraq and to spew yeah. your hate there that's absolutely unforgivable to me so therefore you know uh well payback sucks but yeah. see, i disagree with that because i i i absolutely agree with the fact that it's disrespectful but in america we have freedom of sure, speech sure and so that's what i respect the listen, fact that listen. They well, that, that's why we that wouldn't freedom. have the, the government perhaps step in on them but we've met kind for kind so our offensive speech met their offensive Correct. speech and hopefully that. they can see how that feels listen. i mean the mother of course was symbolic is atheistic i don't feel it actually had any <laughs> effect on his mother but well listen i you know howard howard stern when my father died i thought it was funny to to uh, do a whole show digging up my father's corpse and raping it and all this. My dad was, my dad, my dad, uh, you think, see, I don't, it's not funny to me. And my dad was some $30,000 a year guy that worked hard to, to feed the kids, just tax Oh, Howard did, I thought you said you did that. No, 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 my, my, uh, you know, I hate you, I mean, it's stupid. But when you go, but the, 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 was the mother, was she one of these people? Uh, I believe so. She's I mean, why does why? Okay, well, I mean, she supported their beliefs, and then, no, no, I, then I'm fine she with died, it. Actually, she died a long time ago. But it was, that, it was completely saying, symbolic but why, towards why, them. It was why, a but, but why? It was why a message to Fred Phelps, I, not which I don't mother. have a problem with. What I'm saying is, why disrespect the mother's grave? It was, it was because it was his mother's grave. Is she not guilty? Because it was her. Okay, but. so these soldiers, if you don't know who Fred Phelps is, and by the way, guys, and and I love every time we talk about, you know. Yesterday or the day before yesterday, they announced 13,000 Muslim kids were trained to be suicide bombers. How about Oslo? Thir 13,000. And then people like the Satanists here, Tamara Holder, who are anti-God, will then say, well, what about Fred Phelps? Fred Phelps, I've interviewed him. There's three of them, guys. There's three of them. I the and two. And they are crazy. Stop spewing they, they are crazy. Up. So You're what they crazy. do, what they do is they go yell at, uh, p at soldiers' funerals, and they believe that our soldiers are being killed. And correct me if I'm wrong. They believe that our soldiers are being killed because we allow homosexuality exactly. in America. And, and, and how about the, the, the bikers? You know, these real tough Harley yeah, the guys. Freedom riders. The, the Freedom Riders are going block yeah. uh, these people. I think all they're, the bikers are ex-veterans themselves. They're beautiful. So. They're beautiful. Hard for, you know, hard for me, the movie Soul Survivor and all of this stuff, it's hard for me to celebrate because I've been to the Middle East. I realize we have evil fighting evil. Look at what's going on in Syria and Libya and everything else. Look we're, at Oslo and Norway. We're, but, we're, you know, we're training these people. Uh, we trained bin Laden. Saddam was our guy. Noriega was our guy. And then we send, uh, you, you know, say say. These soldiers are fighting for our freedom, and I love the soldiers and, and, and all of that. But this commander-in-chief, this holy war that's going on, this religious holy, this unholy war that's going on be, between the Shiites and the Sunnis, what are we doing over there? Man, cow. And, 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 I, and I heard about blood for oil from the likes of Tamara Holder all the time. Look at our gas prices. Where is the oil? I wish we were getting free oil for all the uh, boys and girls that have been killed over there Man. for these maniacs. On the free speech radio Coming up network. a couple of foxes. It's free for all Friday. Here with the man. Baby's hungry and you're just teasing him. And these Satanists are they will sacrifice her for their goat god. Uh, all right, we have uh, the uh, Lucian Greaves uh, from the Satanic Temple, and we have the high priest of uh, of Satan, uh, Jimmy Smackass here. I uh, no Brian, right? Brian is your yes, is your name, and you look like uh, you look like one of the guys from Disturbed, actually. Yeah, what we Dee Donigan. Yeah, yeah, very talented guy, actually. Except I play in a real band. Yeah, and your real band is called uh, Vital Remains. Yeah. Vital remains. Um, a cow, you go see him, they're playing at 10,000 people. He's jumping off balconies like Eddie Vedder yeah. back in 91. I jumped, I jumped off the balcony can at I, Reggie's. Can I hear a little screaming? Can I, a little, excuse me, you call it singing. Can I hear a little <laughs> you're singing, a, like a cappella? Well, yeah, you're not going to uh, get Freddie Mercury out of him, but he's got a lot of personality. Let me, let me hear what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something like that? <laughs> he's frightened the baby. He's frightened the baby. <laughs> Hey, my friend Ben, my you know our friend Ben. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, he he's got ears like a dog. There's nothing musical about that. He hears them all really what well. What is that? Do well, it actually, again. Actually, it's uh, it's it's more of a percussion than a melody. You know, it's uh, it goes right with the beat. When you're playing at 300 beats per minute, man, it's it's uh, got to be in the pocket. <laughs> <Anything>. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
We actually have a recording of, of Brian here warming up. Basically a victim of an experiment. It's free for all Friday. Here with the man go. I'm just a poor boy, though my story yeah. is seldom told. I have squandered my resistance for a pocket full of money. My God, they're the Gentile Simon and Garfunkel. All lies in jest, still the man here. No, 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 no. This the band the band is not Vital Remains. That's the Satanist band. This band is remember two things. Get get it right. Come on, Spielberg. I want to show Demon Baby because the Satanists like it, and I'm trying to pander to the Satanists here in the crowd. I'm a uh, a Christian guy, but uh, I think I think that it holds up. And I have I have purchased for the uh, re reasonable price the reasonable price. What I spent on this, twenty one ninety nine. I spent on this Satanist. Okay. And this is the best book that I've read on this. And and you have you have said you will read it. I, I, I will, and I'll, I'll let you know why I didn't like it when I'm done. Well, now, see, you're going into it the wrong, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I'd be willing to go to one of your sacrifices or, or one of your bloodlettings sure, or it, one of your orgies. Have you read any Anton LaVey? I've read, I, I've read, Ant, I've interviewed Anton, I interviewed Anton LaVey. I was at his place in San Francisco, and, uh, you know, he didn't believe anything. You know, he was just having fun. Sammy Davis would come by, and they'd sleep with a bunch of white girls and called himself Satanists. Believe in any kind of goat headed demon or anything. No, he was uh, this um, statue you're putting up. I wish it didn't include children. We'll show you what the statue is coming up. To promote a new movie, you Satanists are going to love it. To promote a new movie involving the baby of the Antichrist. You know, I don't think he's anti... I, I don't think he's Antichrist, but I think he's an Antichrist, like Hitler was. You know, you don't have to be the Antichrist, 666, Mark of the Beast and all that. You can just be Antichrist, like Hitler. I think we definitely have an Antichrist in the White House. But uh, anyway, this is, this is kind of a Rosemary's Baby sort of thing. And what they have done is they got this uh, electronic demon baby to promote a movie, and it's worked. You couldn't buy ads that have gotten this much attention. And they sent out the animatronic demon baby on the streets of New York. Devils do. You gonna go see it? Oh yeah. You ever seen Race with the Devil? Uh, guys in guys in Winnebago out there. It's like a mid seventies. Great movie, man. I remember Race with the movie. Devil down the Spanish Highway by Aldo. Man, cow. These uh, Satanists are out. Now, I, I will talk about off air. We'll be back. They killed Pastor Nathan. On the next monk. Your book. I really enjoyed being on your show. I thought I'd give you a little show and tell about my tattoo. So I started off on this thing. Tamara, do you have any tattoos? Absolutely not. Yeah, you, you, you wouldn't be buried in a Jewish cemetery otherwise. Yes. So. I just think it would get old looking after a while yeah well i mean it happens it happens to all of you you know everybody all of us me too so uh the satanist here you okay with the uh satanist yeah <laughs> yeah i'm a liberal boy a, so uh, yeah liberal Sa slash satanist satanist. Pool, a, a christian a christian uh a christian republican that you would have a uh, you would have a problem with that you would be offended by okay let's go to uh let's let's can we show the statue they want to put up who, what, where, when, why? I'm going to ask him. There's the statue. Who, what, where, when, why, guys? Why, why do you want to put that? Where do you want to put it? Why do you want to put it? Why are children involved? Answer all the questions. Lucian, go ahead. Uh, who do you mean by who? <laughs> you guys. Why do you want to put it up? Well, Oklahoma decided they would allow a Ten Commandments monument to go up on the Capitol grounds. We were contacted by some of our membership in Oklahoma, said that we should... You know, put something to complement and contrast the Ten Commandments, so we petitioned to do that. Yeah. We raised the funds to do it, and uh, the thinking is that, given the First Amendment, once you open the door on public property, 
you can't engage in viewpoint discrimination. The government can't engage in viewpoint discrimination. So we feel that having this complementing and contrasting the Ten Commandments is uh, far better than having the Ten Commandments stand there alone. Because why, now, why bring children into it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we want to make it kid-friendly, family-friendly. The original idea I had was for a sculpture that would be a four-legged goat creature with a saddle so little kids could play on that. But that ended up being a little too silly. So we had this chair structure that people could sit on and have the pictures taken with or whatever, but we incorporated the kids into the, into the image. In, in, in Oklahoma? In Oklahoma. I mean, we didn't want to make it just like a big upside down cross with the middle finger, you know what I mean? I mean, we wanted to make it what do we have the, uh, sure sweet when the I had a guy named, uh, what was his name? God, what was his name? Was it? No, oh, shoot. Anyway, I was going to say his name on here and I forgot. Anyway, a guy came up, he's like, your wife working out is the most incredible video. I mean, I see it every day, right? You see a beautiful woman and, and I'll show you a guy that's bored. <laughs> Uh, but, but I'm, I'm not bored. My wife is uh, is wonderful, and we have a wonderful time. And 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 uh, anyway, guys, uh, he, Annie, this is my wife, and she's very. You know, sometimes I'll hear her moaning in another room, and I'll be like, oh, she's like, I, I, I get it, stay out. And you know, she just she she work out with different workers. There she is on the roof of our condo, working out with some of the fellows that came by to do some work, and she's just concerned about the health of people. She's a real good girl, and. Uh, a little bit tough when I'm watching her play tennis and there's somebody behind her and she's making these noises. But uh, remember, two things is the name of the band. They're here. Let's do a little ADD news as well. Attention deficit disorder news. That's Mrs. Muller. What do you think? This year's Oscar nominations are out. Welcome to the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. American Hustle, Gravity, and 12 Years a Slave are among the nominees. The professor from Gilligan's Island has died. Completely contrary to the rules of logic and intelligence. Actor Russell Johnson was 89. It was the washroom attendant who said it would make a million. David Madden played talent manager Reuben Kincaid in the 70s on The Partridge Family. He died after a long illness. Fortune Magazine is out with its list of the top companies to work for. Google is number one on the list. A killer put to death in Ohio using a never-before-tried lethal injection combo. One person is dead. Two others were injured during a hard landing involving an Army helicopter at an airfield in Savannah, Georgia. 50% surveyed have an e-reading device, up 7% from September. President Obama is announcing commitments from more than 100 universities and organizations to provide financial help for underprivileged students. Oh, sure. College degree is the surest path to a stable, middle-class life. Is Tamara, you know my wife. Don't you think that cameraman Gary folks a little bit too much on? I mean, she's not just body parts. You know? She's a human being. Are you enjoying, are you enjoying this music? Love it. What do you think of my wife? You may hate her. You may want her out of the way. I don't know. No, I think she's a sweet woman. Especially to put up with you. Chip, you want to go stand behind those guys and hump them? No? Oh, Satan, you having a good oh. time over here? Satan's here oh, yeah. with the Satanists. How, how about you back there, Satan? You having fun? Yeah? Okay. We got Satan here. We got two people from the Church of Satan. I disagree No, with we are not from the Church of Satan what by you, any means. Where are you from? The Satanic Temple. Don't want to offend you. The what? Satanic Temple? Yeah. Satanic yeah, you wouldn't want to offend them. Guys, this Sunday, Willow Creek Church. You want to go with me? Barrington. You in? Uh, I'm with it. Let's go. What? I can awesome. Chip loves standing behind men when they play with their instruments. It's amazing. Come to church with us. 